Herzlich willkommen, Stefan Entdeck, die Welt. Herzlich willkommen in Nordthailand. So, ich bin heute wieder in Chiang Mai. Ich gucke mir ein Kondo an. Und äh, Perfect Home hat mir wieder eine Kollegin zur Verfügung gestellt. Das hier ist ein Thai Neighborhood und dieses Apartment ist zu verkaufen. Also, das ist eine große Kondoanlage verteilt auf drei Gebäude. Wir gehen in das Gebäude C. Und da vorne steht die Repräsentantin. Die lerne ich jetzt auch noch erst kennen. Camera is running already. So, uh, Dikap, can you turn this on? It is on already? Yes, it's on oh. already. Yeah, I have my bike back there, no problem. Huh? Okay, no problem. Okay. So, technically, they have A, B, C, D, E. Six buildings. Six uh, buildings. We're going to look wow. in building C. Building C has a touristic person office okay. where you can pay the water and the electricity. Okay. And the unit that we're going to look at is on the fourth floor. Okay. Yeah. So this place is for sale right now. Yes. It's the first first condo yeah. I'm checking out, which is for sale. Ah, I see. This is a pretty much Thai neighborhood here, right? It pretty it's much. It's a local Thai, Thai neighborhood. Local, yeah. 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 So. Um, down here they have grocery shop over there at the corner. You yes. see the brew umbrella. Yeah. This was um, tailor yeah, shop the, around washing here. Washing is store. here. Everything is here. You need. I mean. Yeah, and in building E, block E, there is a small mini mart. Okay. Yeah, but building C is only have an office. Okay. For people to pay electricity in the okay. water. Okay. And this is the main entrance. Okay. Yeah. Parking is just around here. Yeah. There is no cover parking at all. Yeah, but it's nice and shady. Mark and lie, no problem. Mm. Yeah. Okay, where shall we start? Up to you. Is there any any um? How can I say that? Is there any uh, public area for, for these buildings, like in the other places, like no, this uh, is, a lobby something this is, or whatever? It's just basically no buildings yeah. and apartments. Yeah, that's Are they right. all about the same size? Uh, pretty much uh, the same size, start at 29 square meter. Okay. But building F, it will be a little bit bigger, maybe like 30, 31 square meter. Okay. And these buildings are not for sale, uh, not for rent, they are for sale, right? It's only for sale. Yes. Only for yeah. sale. Yeah. Do you want to maybe go up to see the room yeah. first? Let's and see then the room. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So most of the room, when they renovate, it will change like this. Ah, this is okay. original door. Okay. <laughs> this is, have been renovated. Okay. Um, how old is this place? The building? Yes. Oh, 30 plus, I think. Okay. Yeah. But the floor is clean. There's no trash lying around. I mean, mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. Sometimes if you're in old buildings like this... Can you move a little bit? Oh, sorry, come on. <laughs> Sometimes if you go in older buildings like this, I've been in before. Yeah. It's a little bit messy, but this is perfect. Clean. Yes. So they have only one lift here. Mm -hmm. Total is about six floor. Mm -hmm. uh, I think have twelve unit on each floor. Five. Seventy-two. Five, five blocks already. Five okay. blocks. Five blocks together. Six. Six blocks. Yeah. A and B no lift. Uh, okay. C D E F have the lift. Okay. But building F the lift will stop in the between of mm -hmm. floor first and second. Like it's in between. Okay. So where are you from? Well, I live in Lampoon. Lampoon? Mm -hmm. Oh. Somewhere in a, beside a small village. Ah. It's a... Uh, I have only a dirt road going to my house. It's very... I'm not in the village. I'm somewhere in Lamiai Garden. You know, Sibrai, Lamiai, Mamoon, Gur. Must be nice. Cats, you know, it's just... Man. Very much can't be said. So sometimes I go on my bike, ah. get a little adventure, and then I make my YouTube videos. Oh. But basically, I'm I'm from the village. <laughs> oh, that's good. That means is less noise from the city, yeah. which is good. Uh, my Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. I have to take my shoes off. Yeah, let me see. Okay. 
Okay. So basically, uh, just a story about this room. Yes. Original wall is here, up to here. Okay. But you want to remove it so that it get a little bit extra space. Okay. For the kitchen. Normally, the other room we have kitchen here. Okay, the wall okay, here okay, will okay. be for hanging the clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will be like you see that one. Yes. So where's the aircon? The AC. Yes, but, but compressor. Compressor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. More bathroom, shower, toilet, sink, you don't need more, I mean... Yeah, it's more like proper functional, yeah. like sleeping, living, it's cooking... It's nothing big, to be honest, it's yeah. simple, it's basic, Yeah. but let's talk about the price. Yeah. What's the pricing for this? 660,000 baht. 660,000 baht, mm. okay, let me get this in euros. 18,000 USD. Wow. <laughs> 18.000 Dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, 18.000 Dollar, das entspricht ja in etwa dem Euro. Und das ist zwar ein Haufen Geld, aber if you own this place and rent it out, how much rent you can ask for? You could get it to like 5,000 baht for a year contract and yes. 5,500 baht for a um, six-month contract. You can get a little bit more. Yeah, so if you rent it out for a year contract, 5,000 baht a month. Yeah. So you get 60,000 a year. Oh, yeah. Shoot. 70 shoot. if you rent for... Yeah. Oh yeah, 60,000 for one year. Yeah, so 60,000 a year. Yeah. So if you see this as a business, it's not that bad. Couple of years oh. and it's paid off, right? Yeah, it's paid off everything. The the what they call the the ROI is yeah. about eight to ten percent. Yes. Yeah, because some room they might get six thousand baht per month. Yeah. But this will be a standard five thousand per year, yeah. five thousand five hundred for yeah. six months. Yeah. So you could do this as an invest investment as well. Yes. Yeah. But how is the? Um, are there many 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 places empty in this building, or is it? I would say not many. No. Yeah. Many people would love to buy like a shared room and then renovate it to their own style and then resell yeah. it after. Yeah. Before, back to maybe like 10 years ago, yes, there are many. But yes. right now, many rooms have been renovated. So people buy it, renovate them and sell them. Yes, that's okay. right. That's another business. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And since, since Chiang Mai has a lot of university, a lot of young people living here, this would be perfect for, for a young couple. Young, or, or a single digital person. nomad, yeah. or even like a teacher who teaches at Pai Up University yes. or yes. teaching online. This is a perfect place yes. because the internet connection is yes. kind of strong in this area as well. Oh, okay, okay. That's quite important. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and I mean we are in Thailand. We do hang out a lot outside. That's right. Although you have a kitchen, but yes. you don't need to cook. You order. Mm -hmm. You order. Yeah. 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 Unless you're living in my area, we don't have any food panda grab. No one right. is delivering because it's too far. Oh, Nothing. It's good. <laughs> it's good so that you'll be able to control like sugary or some of fast, course. Of something course. like that. Of yeah. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of picky with my, I'm, I'm vegetarian, so I yes. never order somewhere because it's always an ampla inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, sure. there's not much, there's not much to say. Well, is it furnished if you buy it like this? Is it? You the know. stuff will stay inside? Yes, it's sell as is. Yeah. Okay. You get what you see. Okay. Yeah, th that's common in Thailand. It's really common. Yeah, in it's very yeah. different than in Germany. In Germany, this place would be empty. Oh, I Even see. if you rent it. Yes. You, you have to bring your own furniture. You have to oh. bring your own kitchen. You have to own, bring your own. See. It's a different yeah. system. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's really different. This year is so much easier. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you said this is about 20, 20 square meters? 20, 29 square meters. 29, almost 30, also 30 Quadratmeter. Ihr habt die Preise gehört? Ja. Das ist natürlich jetzt kein Ding, wo man drin alt werden will, das sehe ich auch so. Aber andererseits, wenn man sagt, man ist zwei, drei Jahre hier, wäre das auch eine Option. How, how is the, the general market in Chiang Mai of, of condos? Mm. Are the prices rising up or? In this Area yeah, or like like in general. If you if you buy this here, keep it for five years. If you sell it, 
you will make a profit? Well, generally, I have to say that it depends on economy. Like yes. before, this building really popular yeah. before COVID. Yes. The price has gone up. Like some units before you buy 200,000 Thai baht okay. 15 years ago. And now if you buy a shared room, probably it will be like 400,000 Thai baht. People are still willing to pay for it. Yes. And now if you buy a fully furnished like this, it will be like 600. 60,000 or okay. can be a little bit less depending on how you negotiate it. Okay. So I would say it depends on the economy. Yes. And we are just recovered from the COVID-19. Yes. So let's hope that it will pick up, picking up more. So the prices are not prime. back on the level like before COVID, right? They are still lower. Yeah. So no, this. No, actually, right now it's the same. Like I, I don't see the oh, price okay. RPP drop at all. It's just gone up. But it's not just that huge like yeah. that. It's yeah. slightly... It's slightly rising. Yes. Yeah. So, even if you don't use it, if you rent it out, you can still sell it in it's a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. condo fee here is really cheap. Only yeah. 250 baht. Okay. So, one more question because I don't know how that works in Thailand. If I buy a place like this, mm. how much are the additional costs? Like, you have to re register in the government, you have to pay the agent... Okay. Can is there yeah. a certain a percentage mm -hmm. you can say? Well, five percent, ten percent. How does it? Yeah. Okay. Inside land, the seller is responsible to the commission to the agent, so mm -hmm. the buyer no need to pay. Okay. Only the land tax and fee that the buyer and the seller have to pay is just to the land department. But it's there are two things. If the owner own it at five here, then there is no business tax 3.2%. Okay. Then you only pay for transfer fee 2% and the other taxes about altogether 3%. Okay. But if the owner own it at below five here, mm -hmm. then have to pay for business tax. Okay. All those taxes and fee it can be split between seller and the buyer. Okay. Or the seller can pay all or the buyer can pay all. Okay. It's up to And how the much would it be? In, in percentage? 3% if you own it more than 5 here. Okay. If it's less than 5 here, it will be 6.3%. Okay. But that is no additional costs, no, no whatever unless fees. you hire the lawyer to do, um, like help you check some document, then that will be extra fee. Yeah, 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 of course. But this is your, your personal freedom to do it, so you have to yes. pay for it. Yeah, and there's no it. sinking fund here because you're buying a second hand. Sinking yeah. fund is only work for when you buy uh, from new developer. Okay. And is there a maintenance fee you have to pay? If you, uh, you have to pay one year in S1. How much is it? 350 baht per month. That's 350 per month. Yes. Which right. is not so much. Uh, I don't know. 36,000 per year? No, less no. than that. 350 per month? Is yeah. It? 300, I'm not good at math. 350, but let me 10, 3,500. Um, 4,000. 12 times 350 is 4,200. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> also 4,200 baht, yeah. 4,200 baht maintenance fee, which is for cleaning yeah. the floor outside. And, yes. and, and where fixing, can, yeah, fixing. fixing. And where do you leave your garbage? Uh, outside where we just walk in. There's a place from, you can just yes, drop it right. in. Yeah. Oh, are cats allowed in here? I see a cat like. Behind you. Okay. Sure. According to condo regulation, there's no pet allowed in any condo except for Twin Peak and Rimping Condominium. Okay. But, but okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got it. I mean, for me as a single person, what do you need more? I think that's all. Nothing that's all. more that yeah. you need. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's ready to move in. Yeah. That's all you need. Comfy beds, yeah. nice sitting area, yeah. some kitchenette. Sometimes you don't want to eat outside, then yeah, cook I for think, yourself. I think if you live in a place like this, you yeah. just order a grab for you. I mean, there's yes. tons of food around. There's a mini mark around. Of course, you have to do a little cleaning, window cleaning, blah, blah, blah. But That's I mean, the nice thing about living in a condominium, what I think is, is the security. Mm. Yeah, you always are surrounded by people. Yeah. Sometimes you know the neighborhood a little bit. And, yeah. and I think, especially for Farang, to live in a neighborhood like this would be easier to socialize with Thai people. Mm -hmm. If you if you live in a high-so place, 
you probably have a lot of Farang living around. You never yeah. get in contact with the locals. And, yeah. and, and why live in Thailand and not get connected with Thais? It doesn't make sense in my view, but you know, depends on the taste. Yeah. Yes, that's very yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So water will be extra, electricity will be extra. There is electricity bill mm -hmm. here, yeah. Yeah. only 40 baht. That's just for it's like because it's empty. maintenance for the meter yeah. because no one uses electricity here. How long here. is it empty here? Uh, actually, this one is just been in the market for one month. Only one month? Yeah. Okay. But it was ran out before. Yeah. Yeah, when the tenant moved out, then the seller decided to sell it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also one month steht das Ding jetzt leer. And, and if you live in here, water, electricity, internet, how much will that be about? Uh, the water is a fixed rate, 100 baht per month. Doesn't matter how much okay. it is, but it's still little money. Yeah. And electricity is government rate, so you just yeah. pay directly to the government. Depends on what you use the aircon, yeah. Yeah, AC or cooking, yeah. something like that, yeah. how much you use the water heater. Yeah, um, and Wi-Fi, you just signed 3BB or whatever. Yeah. Yes, the internet, I will say, roughly will start around. Right, 400 baht per month, yeah. 399 yeah. baht, yeah. Also that is okay. It's affordable. If you're young, if you're digital nomad, if you study here, do volunteer work, whatever, mm. you need to live on a budget. Yeah. yeah, this will be a perfect place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. So okay. you decided to buy one? <laughs> <laughs> I own Sibrai Lam Yai, which is enough. <laughs> so this is a Lam Yai seasonal, right? Okay. This is um, the season of Lam Yai, right? No, not yet. Oh, not yet? On, on my ground, we don't do any chemicals. Oh, so... it's the real organic. Oh, no. ah, that's good. Also vor den Gebäuden stehen Mülltonnen, da musst du dich um nichts kümmern, da schmeißt du dein Zeug rein. Und hier stehen auch wieder welche, guck mal. Die werden halt leer gemacht. Da musst du dich um gar nichts kümmern. Das ist in diesem minimalen Vieh von 350 Bart im Monat mit drin. Und 100, Wasser, 100 Bart fix fürs Wasser. Und dann gibt es hier vorne in einem Gebäude, NP Mart, ich sehe es schon, gibt es einen kleinen Minimarkt. Das heißt, du musst noch nicht mal jetzt hier irgendwie äh, weit wegfahren, um einzukaufen. Das Nötigste gibt es hier. So you like they it's closed for now but it's closed on yeah. uh open at five PM. But it's not okay. all day. Open. Okay. But like as you yeah, see, five really PM people clean. finish working, coming home so they can yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like it's clean from yeah. from what we see like it's, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course yeah. you probably see, it's, will it's find all... the program from kitchen but yeah. this is kinda of clean building. If you like rent a area. place I have one more question. Yeah. If you rent a place Usually you're not allowed to smoke in the building. No. If you own one? You own one if you smoke if, in... If I, if I buy by this room, I can smoke in my room? Actually, um, according to the law, no, you're not allowed to smoke on the floor. You have to go outside the building and then smoke. That's totally different. <laughs> I'm not smoking, just asking. Yeah. <laughs> Curious, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So from the price range, mm. this is in the lower price range, right? Yeah. How far is the city center from here? Seven so minutes to the, um, the Chiang Mai train station wow. and maybe 10 minutes to Nice Bazaar. Okay. Yeah. And from train station, Harbat to go to Lampung. <laughs> you mean only, by train? Yeah, by train is only Harbat. Yeah. No way. Yeah, it is. Still have that price. It's just five far. Interesting. Just five part, and it's relaxing, nice to go open the window. Uh -huh. It's uh, yeah. That's, that's I love to go a train in Thailand. If you go from here to to Lampang, have a nice day in Lampang. Go mm. back in the evening. It's so relaxing. You know? Yeah, it's just nice. Yeah, yeah. Lampang is a nice province. I've been there like a few times on yeah. my Sunday. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Lampang is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, but yeah. I mean, like Lampun, there, there are many places for you to like explore. Yes. Yeah, but not many people know about Lampun. Yes. Yeah. Okay, wir zwei sagen Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, in German, auf Wiedersehen. Und uh, ja, vielen Dank fürs Zusehen, seid nett zueinander. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Heute mal ein ganz anderes Video, ein Kondo zu kaufen. Wichtig noch, 
I always make sure people know I don't get any commissions or anything. It's just for me, nice content. It's for you, good to reach some maybe new customers. And so it's a win-win situation for us and a win situation for my viewers also because they get a view of Thailand you usually don't get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, ich kriege da nichts für. Ich bin total dankbar. I'm very glad you took the time to show me around. And uh, macht's gut, seid nett, sondern bis zum nächsten Video. Tschüss.